Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. We got a lot to get into as usual. Let's go. Uh, uh, my videos sometimes are like a lightning round because there's so much to talk about. And I just wanted to share with you guys why it's not to have a tunnel vision just on one play, one or two plays, okay? But before we go there, make sure you check out Moomoo. It is Moomoo Monday. Get up to 16 free stock, right? But listen, just the same deal, it continues. Deposit $100, look at that. You get it right back, plus five free stock. And you can get a free share of any of these stocks. Look at that. Palantir, DraftKings, Tesla, uh, Amazon, right? Uh, so let's keep it going, all right? Make sure you make a deposit today if you're not. I'm going to start a portfolio in a Moomoo, right? So let's look at where we are today in the indices. Uh, we thought that it would be up green today based on the close of Friday, the momentum, how it just swung. And as we could see, the Dow is up nicely. S&P and the NASDAQ are all green. We will take that green, green, green today. Let's talk about our new uh, Tesla chaser. I'm not going to say Tesla killer, Tesla chaser, because it's not a Tesla killer. And that is Rivian, right? Rivian. Let's look at Rivian. Let's look at where it is today. Rivian is up 2.81%. And as you could see, uh, Tesla's down 1.85, almost 2%. So it may be a good day for me to probably get into another tes Tesla option play. But I've just been buying Rivian. I've been buying Rivian the stock. And uh, and I'm going to enter into the uh, <laughs> I'm going to enter into an option play. Um, I have a I, I I believe I set a buy, but it just hasn't hit that buy hitting that buy yet. Right. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. So here's what I wanted to show you. Five days over the last five days, Tesla has been down two percent. Rivian has been up forty two percent. Over the last month, Rivian is up 81%. Tesla's up 8%, right? Year to date, that's where the flipping happens. Tesla is still up almost 150%. And as you can see, Rivian is only up 46%. But most of that 46% was made in the last month. Look at that. It is crazy. So... Um, what what we're seeing here is we can't just look at the bull known as Tesla. There's always a new bull, right? There's always a new bull in the farm, right? And so there's money to be made. People always ask, Rivian or Tesla? You don't have to choose. Just get in them both. So I am going to be doing options and regular stock in Rivian, okay? So let's look at why Rivian stock is on fire. Uh, let's read a little bit here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, investors who clung to Rivian stock uh, shares over the last few months are now getting rewarded. The EV maker stock is on fire, up roughly 90 percent in the last past nine sessions. On Monday, Rivian uh, shares hovered uh, about twenty five dollars, almost double its close the previous day, which was June 26 of thirteen forty eight. Look at that. Rivian recently affirmed it's on track to deliver uh, on the 50,000 vehicles annual production guidance previously provided. That's a tongue twister. <clears throat> so that's what we're looking at, good people. Uh, that's why Rivian is such a bull right now. OK, uh, so we're just going to see if this news, if this momentum keeps going and then um, um, we can make money. So when I show you guys these and I cover these. You don't have to wait on me to tell you what to do. I'm giving you the information because I know you guys are at work and I'm giving you the information so you can make your own plays. OK, I just want you to make money and take profits, make money and take profits. Do you have to get permission to make money? No. Do you have to get permission to take profits? No. So don't even ask, hey, should I take profits? I'm up 100 percent. Take profits if you feel like you should take profits. OK, we got CPI coming this week, I believe. CPI, I believe probably on Wednesday. It usually is. So we got CPI and then PPI comes right 
behind that, okay? If we have good CPI numbers, then this bull continues to run. Uh, I'll take it. I, I will take it, okay? So let's look at what's happening to uh, Twitter, Meta, right? Let's look at here. The rapid rise of threads appear to be hurting Twitter. Okay, I haven't looked at this. The third party estimate shows that Twitter's traffic falling while Meta Platform's new app hits. Look at this. In less than a week, a hundred million signups. A hundred million signups. Wow. Let's see where Meta is on the charts. Let's see where Meta is. Uh, Meta is killing it. Okay. Uh, Meta's up a little bit today. Let's look at that. Meta's up a little bit today. It was up uh, opening bail. And then it, we had a fall off of about one and a half percent. So it was up about two percent today, as you can see. And um, as you can see over the last week, here's where we had that spike from 285 up look at that jump we'll take that any day all right so that looks good uh, we got great news on meta platforms i believe meta is going to continue one uh -huh, one of these banks uh let me just find out what it is has a price target of a 400 dollars for meta and um i you know i just don't chase uh everything that they say when they're overly bullish, sometimes I use that as a buying, I'm sorry, overly bearish. I use that sometimes as a buying opportunity because when one gets bearish, they all start getting bearish, right? Then one get bullish and they raise their price target, then they all get bullish after the stock runs up. You guys know how that is. I wish I had their job. Only job better than that is the weatherman where you can be wrong as many times. All right, new stock to put on your watch. This is the stock that I want you guys to watch, uh, Cava, all right? So it's been a lot of talk. Um, I really don't, I, I'm really not keen in a, this market on buying IPOs on the first day, uh, but this chain is bolstering to do like Chipotle. Now, I would be really careful. It's up, it was up 10% today. Now it's, it's just under 10%. And um, it is it is really on fire. Uh, let's see. Come on. Come on. Let's see. So as you can see here, uh, look at this. Why restaurant IPO. This was 31 minutes ago. Jumped again on Monday. All right. Uh, let's see why it jumped again on Monday. All right. Let's read. Shares of Mediterranean style restaurant, uh, you know, Cava Group jumped again on Monday, uh, continuing its strong performance since the company went public last month. As of 2 10 p.m. Eastern, stock was up 11 percent. This stock is going up today because of all of the analysts who are uh, initially covering on, uh, on the company. All right. And <laughs> you guys know what this word is. I am so tongue twisted today. All right. So, um, you know, Kava is, I'm going to call it Kava or Kava, however you pronounce it. It is a company that they are liking to Chipotle. Chipotle absolutely killed it. Even through COVID, Chipotle made a switch to digital. They were able to do, uh, you know, hook it up where you can get food delivery and they did it right. They shifted better even than McDonald's. Chipotle did. And so Kava or Kava, however you pronounce it, is slated to be the next one. All right. But it's too early to tell. Uh, but um, I believe that there is money to be made in it. And I think I may be uh, getting a piece of it. Now, let's look at our friend Riot. Riot. Riot is, again, killing it again. As you can see today, just a straight bull up uh, Riot. And let's, uh, let's, let's, let's compare it to Meta, right? Look at that. Riot is the top dog today. So we, we know how Riot always moves, but I'm sorry. 
Yeah, Riot is the top dog today. Matter is usually the more bullish one. Now we have Riot um, catching up. There again, Larry, which one should I buy? Both. You guys know how I roll. And um, I'm not going to be doing this every day. So I just want to show you guys a few things. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Uh, meta, 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 meta. Oh, yeah. I got some meta plays here. Let me show you guys this. So you guys remember last week I bought some HUD. HUD is up 18%. And I got some meta today i got four shares of meta today four contracts these are options and i'm up only seven percent but i'll take it but i went in heavy as you can see but let's move on to what i really want to talk about if you look at the top this is the pnl for today okay now let's go down to riot let's go um um bottom and let's go uh, one up from the bottom i'm sorry good people riot today on my options, on my call options, for those of you that's following, is up 15% today. So here's what I want to show you and how options do multiply. If you could see right now, Riot here is up 8%. You see that? But the options on Riot is up 15% today. Okay. And then the stock is up. I just took a snapshot of this before. Uh, so it's up higher. If you look at the bottom, it says 6%, almost 7%, but it is up 8% now. So my uh, options are probably up higher. And as you could see, Mara, the call options are up 14% today. So 14% on Mara and 15% on Riot today. All right. And so again, you do not need my permission to buy, hold, or sell. As a matter of fact, you should never blindly just follow anybody's plays. You should do your own due diligence, okay? I, I suggest that you listen to multiple pages and make sure that you are studying before you blindly put your hard-earned money into anything. And please, by all means, especially this week, CPI coming and PPI coming, Make sure you got stop losses set down. In closing, I think that CPI uh, will possibly present some buying opportunities if it comes in a little hot, leaving the Fed room to raise interest rate hikes, spooking the market temporarily, and then I will buy. OK, so I'm not worried if CPI comes in and it shows that inflation is not slowing down. I'm not really worried about that because I believe the market will probably overreact like it does 90% of the times causing a buying opportunity uh, for someone like me who looks for the green and the red. OK, so, so and lastly, um, I wanted to show you guys this. I took a picture of it. So this is what I want to show you guys this is uh moo moo but i want to break this up and show you guys how this is in two parts here okay so here you see paper trade you see the heat map right there right you can see the stock uh screener but you see the in, uh, we went over the industrial chain but we'll go over that again so it's kind of broke up but right beside that to the right you can see you see where it says earning herbs er, earning herbs Earning hub. Man, am I tongue twisted today? So earnings report and then underneath that earnings hub. That's where you could get a snapshot of the earnings that are coming. And then you have look at this. These are some of the top stock featured lists. And look at that. It even shows you which ones are paying high dividends. So there's a lot of information here on the Moomoo app that you can take advantage of. I'm sorry I'm so tongue twisted, but I only had a few hours of sleep for I had to get a friend to um, the airport this morning. All right. We're going to leave it right there. We will see you guys tomorrow and uh, we'll see you then. Live, love, laugh and learn. Make sure you check out the links below. Be kind. Rewind. Do it again.